I wanted to talk about acorns today because, um, hey, between you and me, between these uh, four walls, um, I'm an acorn sometimes, and you're an acorn sometimes. Any time that we're, we're beginning or we're partway through um, a journey of professional development or learning, learning new skills um, with this guy, and we're looking, of course, for a way to become uh, that guy, right? An expert in our field, an expert in English, an expert in uh, programming or technology, education, whatever it is you want. Um, so we're acorns, acorns that grow and develop and uh, find a way, find a way to become um, that tree at the end. And uh, it's important. And I want to um, let you know right now, there's a temptation here, a temptation when we're learning something new, especially if we're at the beginning of that journey to to want to be not an acorn, but a sponge, because a sponge is something oh, that makes learning much easier, right? We just soak up information. And in uh, discovery sessions, when I speak with a new client or a potential new client, sometimes they're going to say, yeah, just, just tell me what to do, because this is daunting, this is overwhelming. I need to learn all this English, I need to go through all this career development. Just uh, tell me, what, what's the book? What's the YouTube video? What's the what's the app on my phone that I can use for these things? And I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it, and and that'll be all I have to do. But um, there's a there's a problem with that. Okay. Now, of course, there are some things where there's one universal correct answer. There's there's only one way. There's only one correct word stress on pronunciation. There's only one correct way to uh, change the uh, air filter in my uh, Dodge Caliber, okay? These things, we can uh, check it on Google, we can watch the little YouTube video, and we're good to go. But with bigger things, with things like career development or learning and improving our language skills, you can't be the sponge. You have to be the acorn. If you try to be the sponge, um, there are two problems with that, okay? Number one, you don't own it, okay? You're doing things because a teacher or a, a book has told you to do it. If you're doing something just because someone told you to do it, excuse my mosquitoes, um, you don't own it, okay? You weren't part of the process to, to learn this. You're just, uh, you're just re regurgitating. You're just repeating something. You don't own it, and you're not gonna put that effort in to really solving that problem or, or achieving that goal, and um, it's not gonna work out. And when it doesn't work out, of course, you, um, well, you're gonna blame the video. You're gonna blame the book. You're gonna blame the app, whatever it is. Um, so that's not going to work. Number two is that learning is um, it is a journey. It is a growth. It's not one step. It's not one click. It's not a question of just of absorbing, of being passive. It is a journey. It is active. And um, it is, uh, it's not something that there's one universal answer for. You're going to have to find your own path. And of course, I can help you with that. That's part of what English, working English, is all about. Um, but it's not a case of saying, let's start on page one of unit one of the English book, okay? That book doesn't work perfectly for anyone. It's not a case of downloading that app on your phone. That app may have a million downloads, which means it's popular. Yes, does it mean it's going to help you in every way for you to learn your, improve your English language skills? Not at all, because it is passive. You are absorbing something, something. you need to be active. You need to be communicative. And the good news is, any good educator, any good teacher, any good coach understands that. So in working English, I'm going to help you be self-aware. I'm going to help you through the process of learning. I'm going to help you through this, this big journey. And um, of course, any time with pronunciation, any time I think you can tweak the way you present yourself and, and get on well and, and communicate well and, and be successful with other English speakers, of course, I'm going to help you with that. But I'm also going to encourage you to... Um, Try things out, to take risks, to ask yourself some tough questions, and to think seriously about how you can improve, where you can improve outside of our sessions as well. And I'm going to help you um, measure your own progress as well. So um, yeah, forget about the sponge with these big things of career development and language learning. It is about the acorn, and I look forward to seeing you go from here to here. All right. Um, Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, visit teacherhamish.com. Uh, connect with me on Twitter. Again, Teacher Hamish. Uh, visit, um, follow the uh, classroom assistants on Instagram. And I will see you in class. See you soon. Bye.